Parking is limited with a handful of spaces on the A93 opposite the trail. Once parked, head through the gate over the river and follow the track on the left towards Baddock Farm. Walk along the track until you reach the old farmhouse, keeping to the left and passing by, reaching a gate and heading through which continues on a Land Rover track. Almost a mile in, we're just continuing to follow this uh, Land Rover track. We reach a bridge, cross over this and we're going to just continue on the track for now. Fell easy going, very windy but the weather stayed dry so far. A lot of rain. You'll reach a second crossing over the water. Once you've crossed, immediately turn right and follow the river uphill, staying close to the river initially. So we're approaching two miles. We cross the reef and burn, and then it starts to climb 470 meters just now. So we're not climbing much, but it's a very small path just next to the water and then it'll turn to the left very shortly. We're going to go to the left here, towards the cairn and then up to the Munro. Low lying cloud, so visibility is probably going to be low again. So after the cairn you've got a wee little bit of bog on your left hand side and you've got a kind of okay path to the right. Up. Once you've reached the obvious cairn, continue west along the grass path, heading for the east side of the Munro, which you will see as the ascent increases and the path will split near a small amount of rocks. Taking either will bring you to the same spot. This is the final part of the climb. Continue what is almost a plateau for just over one mile. Some parts with a distinct path and others without. Until you reach the west side, a slight right and you will see a wind shelter at the summit and another small cairn. Simply retrace your steps for the way back.